Hey everyone and welcome back to this module where we'll be taking a look at how the game mode class is currently set up in the project, how this limits the project flexibility and how it will generally slow down our development. So before we even jump into our Unreal project, I just wanted to show you what is happening in the game mode class in the C++ file. So in the header file, there really isn't very much here, just a constructor. And then over in the code file inside of that constructor, one thing is being done, and that is we're setting a hard reference to the default pawn class. So this is a default variable in the game mode structure. And we're setting the default pawn to be the A twin stick pawn. So nice and simple, and at first glance, that doesn't seem like there's any problem with that. If we now jump back over to our Unreal project and see what this is actually doing. So the first thing is that this will by default mean that we have the project using this game mode. So if we start by removing our player pawn that we have here, so the TP twin stick pawn, and remember I've already said that this is actually kind of doing something bad to begin with, in that we are hard setting the default pawn to be overridden by the one that we've placed in the world, uh, which is kind of fighting against the automatic spawning system that the Unreal Engine provides for us. So if I just remove this and place in a player start so that we can use the automated system, what this will do is it will automatically spawn in the twin stick pawn that we have. Of course, I still have my previous changes where I have removed the pawn, so that doesn't actually add the visualization at least. So that's broken because of another bit of C++ code. And we'll be fixing that later, so don't worry. But that is indeed creating the twin stick pawn. In fact, I should probably remove the copy just to make sure that that is spawning in as we want, as we can see here. So that's perfect. Now this is being done because under the project settings, the maps and modes, we have our default game mode set to the twin stick game mode. If we just use the magnifying glass, that should have taken us just here, but it's that twin stick game mode just here. So if we drop this down, this is where the problem really starts, is that we don't have any control to change the pawn here. So if we were using that C++ class and we could at least change the default pawn in the editor here, that would allow us to at least quickly update and change something. But we don't even get that freedom. So what this means is that every time you may want to test twin stick pawn version 2, or maybe you're making variants of twin stick pawn, where one's faster, one's slower, one fires more or something, you would have to go back to the C++ file every single time, change what this default class is being hard-coded to, to spawn by default, just to kind of test your new gameplay settings. Alternatively, of course, you could drag them in, but that means again that every time you drag something in, you have to come down, scroll to the class that you've just brought in and remember to set this to be the uh, player zero by default which again these are all just extra steps that when you're just trying to make quick iterations gameplay testing and stuff like that you don't really want these extra steps to be involved in your process because if someone gives you 10 different variations of a pawn to test being able to just quickly change what pawn is spawned by default is going to be much more convenient than remembering which one you have set to auto possess or updating them in the code file. So again, this is a huge limitation at the moment of using a purely C++ class. We'll see that when we add the blueprint class, just making this blueprint would automatically at least expose this for us to change. But then also having the blueprint itself will allow us to go into that blueprint and make the changes there. We can even add some blueprint nodes to say, if this case, then use this pawn, if this one, then use this one. And again, that's gonna be much faster the needing to come in and recompile every time we want to make a change or try something new. So this was only a fairly small topic. It was just one very specific thing to look at, but it is one very specific thing which will affect a lot of our progress and our productivity with this project at the moment. So in this module, we've seen how the game mode is currently implemented in the project and some of the drawbacks to using a pure C++ class in the default settings.